Hello and welcome to another The Race Zone channel video. Today I will preview stage 11 of the Tour de France 2023. Before I start I would like to ask you for a favor. If you could subscribe it would uh, mean a lot to the channel and it will help me. So please subscribe and now let's move on to stage 11 from Clermont-Ferrand to Moulin. Uh, almost 180 kilometers long stage. Uh, there is not uh, a lot to, of tactics to be talked here, it is probably a sprinter stage uh, and uh, some teams can try, maybe Sudal, they can uh, send Cavani and Declerc, um, maybe Magnus Court will try again like he did today, but uh, the, the chances are slim of a break succeeding, there are a lot of teams that will probably go for the sprint like Lidl track, uh, Alpecin, of course, um, Jayco Alola for Hrunewegen, um, I don't know, maybe Ewan feels good. So that is already like four or five teams that would like a, that would like a sprint. So it will probably be a sprint, but uh, some teams might uh, try and get in the breakaway, but probably they will save their like ammunition for the stage 12, which is much more suited for the breakaway. Uh, so let's just look at the profile. We have uh, three categorized climbs, all fourth category. Code uh, Chap to Zach 1.9 kilometers at 5%, so nothing significant. Code de Mercurol, 2.9 kilometers at 4.6%, those are in the first half of the stage. Then we have uh, intermediate sprint for points in La Perruse at 70.5 kilometers into the stage, and then slightly downhill terrain all the way to the Côte de la Croix Blanche, 1.6 kilometers at 5.4 percent, so again nothing significant, and then almost uh, like a flat terrain all the way to Moulin uh, and the f for the finish of the stage. Now let's look at the, the map, so they will go mostly uh, to the north, uh, a bit to the west, and then once they reach the final climb with the Côte de la Croix Blanche, they will go east uh, to Moulin, uh, so we can see that the final kilometers are almost um, completely straight. We have one uh, like um, elbow turn here over the bridge, so it, it, it is a very important place uh, for the sprint. You need to get uh, good on the roundabout before the, before the bridge, and then after the bridge it is a sharp um, right turn. So you need to be positioned good to have your train, it's uh, 2 kilometers or 200 meters before the finish. All, and then uh, another like uh, bend to the right, then another one to the left. And the last uh, almost one and a half kilometers are completely straight. So the trains will be really important. Uh, I don't know if Vanderpool will deliver that uh, great uh, lead out once again. He didn't look really good uh, to, today before the stage, he attacked with one art but um, he did, he doesn't really look that uh, great like in the first week so anything can happen maybe maybe something can make a, a better lead out uh, for their sprinter maybe a little for Pedersen with Kirsch and uh, Stoyven so I think it will be an interesting stage in the final kilometers the weather will be much nicer than it was today today like guys were having heat strokes uh, vomiting on the bikes um, it was awful in the beginning uh, before the breakaway got formed. So tomorrow is perfect uh, weather for cycling, 24 degrees with a bit of breeze from the west. So um, it ideal, ideal scenario for a bike race. And now let's look at the bookmakers odds. They have Philipsen as the top favorite. Then Hrunewegen, Ewan, Van Aert, Jakobsen, Bauhaus, Pedersen, Hirmay, Van der Poel. So Sorry, uh, they too expect uh, a sprinter stage. Magnus Court can be like a surprise maybe for this from the sprint from the lake, from the breakaway or something like that. But uh, like I said, I expect sprint today, and it's little, it's really like uh, anybody's guess who's going to win. And tomorrow, I will say I pick Mats Pedersen to win again for a little trek. So that's my pick for tomorrow. And let's just look at the GC standings. Uh, we have. Uh, small change now Pelo Bilbao he jumped six positions after winning today's stage and he's now in fifth place so congratulations to him it was a really heroic breakaway uh, he won from Gino Mader so I'm, I'm, I'm really happy because that happened and uh, congratulations Peyo once again great rider uh, great spirit and uh, ride for Gino once again wins like Mohoric in Slovenia so 
congratulations team Bahrain and I think that now they are like uh, even more in front in the team's classification yes Ineos were pulling I don't know if they were pulling to save um, Rodriguez's fourth place or they were pulling for the team's classifications but anyway in the end of the stage they were doing most of the work and Pelle Bilbao wins so thank you all for watching uh, like share subscribe comment who you think is going to win if you think that I have got something wrong or you think something different I would also like to hear that so we can discuss uh, have a great day and hope to see you in my next videos bye